So I've just had a text from Simon. He's about to go and do his first course walk on the cross country. So let's go catch up with him, see what he thinks. Uh, yeah. I've, um, I was saying earlier, the warm up I'm going to do, I'm going to warm him up down by the stables and yeah. put him away. Yeah. Go get changed and sorted. And then I'm going to take him up. I'm not going to do a load of warm up yep. up yeah, there because yeah. he gets really hot yep. and really stressy. So before and the crowds get too big or anything well, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, and then when I get there, yeah, just sort of go so that he's not getting himself yes. too upset. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then um, do you do that at most events with him? Uh, yes, I try to not stay around the start too yeah. long because I at Gatkin, um He was at the start for way too long. Yeah, he got um, he got quite upset and very very hot. <laughs> so okay, so right, we've, at, we've had we've had some really. We've had some really nice straightforward fences to sort of get us going and then in the main arena it gets a little bit more complicated with a couple of angles. But as a general rule so far it's really nice and forward. Mm -hmm. And this fence here is really skinny. But as you're looking at it from here, it doesn't it doesn't look too bad from here. So I was kind of expecting it to look really, really hideous when I got here. And it's well, it's not great, but it's <laughs> But it's not. It's, it's okay. There's plenty of them to jump for them to jump, and I'm just kind of thinking you might want to come in and slight, not go straight to the nose of it because I think the nose of it really can run past either mm -hmm. way. But this side, I think the profile's a bit yep. a bit better. But you've just got to be a bit careful that you don't overdo it and then make it a really big jumping effort. But I think from here it doesn't look too bad. Yeah. Yeah. And then we scoot off up up the hill. The the mm. alternative's horrible. I don't think you'll see anybody jump that alternative. If you run out of that, I think people will just will go for it again. You said um, about you said about coming at it on the angle. Would you try and then pick something in your eye line to keep you? People always say that. That's what I was they, always they, told they when I was younger. And, and, I yeah. just don't. Yeah. Just don't. I, yeah. I, I've always got the intention. <laughs> yeah. But I just. I'm, I'm busy looking at the yeah, thing. Yeah, you're that around thinking too much about your balance and There's rhythm. The and then... Where's that point that I'm looking for? I'm not sure. <laughs> and then you've got to wrestle with the trees. <laughs> Team, Team Simon. Simon. <laughs> Um, jo um, is a really good friend of mine who competes and stuff and she was injured last year and I rode her horse, no year before last and I rode a horse for her. She's just great, she's so fun. So we're here at the iconic leaf pit fence. Um, we've got a couple of different options here. First one is to come up the hill from the skinny where we've just been through the trees there, pop off this drop. I think I'll probably, I'm going to plan to go straight here. Um, I'll be thinking about coming back to trot, try and pop down the drop. Gravity takes over a little bit and then straight to the brush parallel there and then two or three strides to the skinny brush on the right hand side. But there are options. If your horse isn't going to go off here, you don't think he will, you can jump the brush over there. So the brush there and then down and then jump the left hand side instead. But it depends on what works for your horse. I mean, coming up to this on a horse, is it is it literally like you're jumping off the end of the world? <laughs> it is a bit, yeah. <laughs> when you're yeah. even higher you're, up. Well, you're, you just want to make sure that they go and then you, and then yeah. you don't really have much say. <laughs> I think this is almost taller than me. <laughs> I, this is definitely like jumping off the end of the world. And I think I'm losing my balance already. <laughs> but it's really, it's really yeah, forgiving. Yeah, yeah. I think the five strides will come quite nicely down from the, as long as you allow it to happen. Mm -hmm. um, you kind of got to go with it a little bit, I think, yeah. on this. So that you get the five strides and then it's a bit of a funny old distance up here. Yep. I think it walks on a very, very forward, well, very forward two or yeah. short three. And being narrow at the base, you'd rather get close to it than be off it anyway. Yeah. To give yourself more chance of, of yeah. having it in their eyesight. It's really clever because he's just going to open open you out completely yeah. down that slope. Yeah. And then and then they've got to be really clever to shorten themselves up to be able to yeah. pop this. So will you try and change how you jump that element just because you want to get the three well, in here? You can try and get a bit closer to the... I cello tossy the descent. Yeah. Um, I think that that's the kind of fence that will make them go up and yep. and down. Yeah. So I think the three which will come. Which is what you want anyway. Yeah. yeah. And also, like you know, it's a bit of a shocker coming off that drop. So they might be thinking, oh, hang on yeah. a minute, so what are we doing? <laughs> right, move, moving on, moving on. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, it's good. I, I actually prefer it to last yeah. year. I think yeah. it encourages you to ride a bit more forward. 
Are you going to plan to jump this a little bit left of centre to keep you out a bit to the corner? I think I won't overcomplicate it too much, yep. but slightly, yep. I suppose I would think to that. And then it's a relatively four stride, so you don't yep. want to be fanning around too much yep. and get to it. But actually, the corner is, you know, it's it's a bit kinder than I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. um, that doesn't mean that it's nice. I just, yep. um, it doesn't, it, the horses will be able to focus a bit again. Yep. As the problem before, we've got a fence there, we've got a fence yep. there, yep. those logs there. So the horses by this stage are going to be like, well, what are we doing? Of crowds they as might well lock onto something here. else. Yep. So we've got to focus their attention a little bit. So Simon's given us some really useful insights um, into the first combinations on the course. We were totally distracting him. So he's now gone off to walk the rest of the course um, with a couple of friends and a trainer. And we're going to catch up with Georgie Spence tomorrow morning to get some insights on some of the other fences.